Welcome back. We're back with uh, Kevin Kerr from uh, Kerr Trading International uh, out of New York, and uh, our chart man, Gerald Guppy from GuppyTraders.com, stays with us. Let's uh, get back to emails, uh, gents, if we could. We've talked about uh, gold. We've talked about uh, silver. Rabinder, writing in from Singapore, wants uh, a near-term outlook for uh, the price of oil, Daryl. What do the charts say? The essential factor with oil is that it's changed the character of its trading. So we now have this solid trading band sitting back here between about 62 and 75. The upside target for oil on this current breakout is sitting at around 86. But the bad news is that once we hit 86, the upside target beyond that is sitting at 100. Two moves to 100. Interesting. Kevin, what do you see going ahead for oil? Well, I'm the contrarian here. I, I, I've been long oil for a long time, but I think at this point, before the end of the year, we're going to see unwinding of the dollar positions. We're going to see unwinding of the gold positions, position squaring before the end of the year. You're going to see oil pull back because the dollar is going to rally a little bit just before the end of the year. So uh, dollar, I mean, dollar is the big drive for oil right now. Oil is the new currency, mm. the reserve currency, and so you will see them move inversely, and you'll see it before the end of the year. Okay, and what, what kind of uh, what pull back to, oil? Pull back to like $65. Pull back to 65 Thank you. I wanted a number there. Okay, let's move on, and this is kind of related here. Uh, another email uh, coming in from Anthony, and he says, what's happening with the Baltic index, that is the Baltic dry is what he's referring to. Is it a good view on the world? Uh, what does the chart say, Daryl? Well, we have to be careful with indexes like the Baltic Dry Index. When we're talking about markets, we're tracking psychological behavior. Here we're just looking purely at statistic, statistical relationships, which are slightly different. So we can simply say, that, yes, it has changed direction of trend, but it's very difficult to set upside targets. We're not tracking psychology. It makes a big difference. Ah, interesting. Okay, Anthony, I hope that uh, helps there. Baltic Dry, 3247. Uh, Kev, let's talk uh, very broadly and just recap. You see 65 oil, you see uh, maybe 1,100 plus for gold. You still like silver a, a lot. What wouldn't you touch in the commerce complex right now? Well, again, I'm, I'm long-term bullish on the commodities. I think what we're looking at here is we're in November now. We're looking at position unwinding. We could see this dollar tree, which has been heavily overshorted. And I'm very bearish on the dollar, but longer term. I think as you get into the new year, you'll see this trade ramp up again. You will be seeing the short dollar sell off again. You'll see commodities rally. So longer term, I am looking for much higher highs on the soft commodities, on the ags, um, and certainly in the energy and, and gold. Right. But short term, I'm saying there may be some short downside on, on some of these commodities. Okay, but longer term, watch for dollar to continue going south and for the entire complex commerce the, to The trend is to go very up. clear on the dollar, yeah. All right, good to know. Kev, great the, to talk to you, sir. The dollar to go down long term. Okay, we'll be Thank watching. Uh, Kev, great to talk to you. Thank you for your time. Kevin Kerr uh, from uh, Kerr Trading International and Daryl Guppy, our chart man. We'll get back to the pair of them coming up in uh, 